Ever wondered why some men seem obsessed with the market value of women they date? Let's delve into the narcissistic mindset to understand this perplexing phenomenon. Narcissists, by their very nature, view relationships much like transactions. They assess potential partners not based on their intrinsic qualities, but rather on superficial criteria. Physical appearance, social status, and the ability to elevate their own standing often dominate their evaluation process. This is what we refer to as the market value of a woman in the narcissistic dating sphere. It's a cold, calculating approach to human connection, where the worth of a woman is reduced to her perceived value in the eyes of a narcissist. It's important to understand this mindset, not to condone it, but to recognize and navigate it. The narcissistic mindset is a labyrinth where the worth of a woman is measured by her market value. So, how exactly do these men evaluate a woman's market value? Well, let's delve into the superficial criteria narcissistic men use to assess women. First, physical attractiveness often tops the list. Narcissists are drawn to what they deem as beautiful, as it serves as a status symbol for them. Second, age is another factor. They might prefer women who are younger, as it feeds their need for power and control. Third, social status. Narcissists are attracted to women who can elevate their own status. This could be through fame, wealth, or even social connections. Lastly, a perceived sense of femininity. Narcissists often have rigid and traditional ideas about gender roles. They're attracted to what they believe is feminine, again, to validate their own sense of masculinity. It's important to realize that these criteria often reflect the narcissist's own insecurities and need for validation. In the eyes of a narcissist, a woman's worth is reduced to these shallow criteria. How can one spot a narcissist who's fixated on market value? It might seem like a daunting task, but there are some telltale signs. These individuals often display an excessive focus on physical appearance. They might constantly critique their own looks or those of others comparing and ranking people based on superficial attributes. Another common indicator is frequent comments about age or attractiveness. They may regularly point out how young or beautiful someone is, as if these traits were the ultimate measure of a person's worth. They are often fixated on youth and beauty, neglecting to appreciate the depth and complexity of an individual's character. And the most revealing sign? A complete disregard for personal qualities or achievements. For them, accomplishments and personal growth take a backseat to physical beauty. It's as if they're blind to the richness of a person's character, seeing only the outer shell. Recognizing these signs can be the first step towards avoiding a potentially harmful relationship. But what does this look like in real life? Let's illustrate with a couple of scenarios. Picture a man, let's call him John, who is overly concerned with his partner's physical appearance. He constantly compares her to other women, often belittling her in the process. His words and actions reflect a clear obsession with her market value, rather than genuine affection or respect. Now, consider a man named Tom. He's charming, charismatic, and seemingly attentive. However, his compliments to women are always tied to their appearance or status, never their intellect or character. He's quick to criticize any perceived flaw, using it as a tool to exert control. Then there's Richard, who discards relationships like yesterday's news, moving on to the next attractive prospect without a second's thought. His actions reveal a shallow evaluation of women based solely on their market value. These examples reveal the harsh reality of the market value concept in relationships. How does this obsession affect women? Just imagine the emotional storm brewing when women are assessed merely on market value. It's like being reduced to a commodity with no regard for individuality or personal worth. This constant evaluation corrodes self-esteem, instilling a sense of inadequacy. It also takes a toll on mental health, inducing anxiety and depression. Women find themselves battling not just the narcissist, but their own self-doubts. The toll can be substantial, leaving scars that may take time to heal. So how can women protect themselves from such harmful perspectives? Well, it starts with awareness. Recognize the signs of narcissistic behavior, superficial charm, manipulation, and obsession with appearance. Once recognized, it's critical to set boundaries, ensuring your worth is not defined by someone else's shallow standards. Seek support when needed, be it from friends, family, or professionals. Remember, you're more than a market value in someone's eyes.
Armed with knowledge and strategies, women can navigate this tricky terrain with confidence and resilience.